Hi, this is Nell Foster with Joyous Garden and today I'm going to tell you how to care for a flower bed. When you're a gardener, you're always thinking to the next season. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to talk about spring and summer in the flower bed because those are the busiest times anyway. And this is a great one to show you on. I'm up in Pacifica, California, just south of San Francisco because most of the pansies are out and the cyclamen, which were the fall and winter color, and into spring. And now we're going to do a big planting on this bed tomorrow, which is going to be all different kinds of impatience and lobelia. So it's a good one. So what I'm going to do first is if, if I need to do any pruning on the existing perennials, I'll do that. There are some perennials in here I'll do pruning on that. These were cut back in the fall, so I don't have to do too much. If I'm going to divide the perennials, I will divide them now. I'll go in and do a, a little deadheading on the roses here when I can still move around. I'm going to dig all the bulbs out because bulbs don't rebloom here. It's not cold enough. And I will pull the weeds because I want all the weeds gone before I do all my prep. And then I prefer to loosen the soil. This soil is really loose because it's been, it's been worked a lot. But I use my little lady gardener shovel because I'm going to be planting mainly annuals and annuals don't root too deep so I don't have to worry about a lot of depth. And this soil is good. It has good drainage. It's been mulched a lot so it's great. If you have harder soil and you really want to break it up, you might want to use a pitchfork. Just brought that out to, out to show you. So, now that we've talked about spring the cleanup, you also want to clean up the debris. If there's any fallen branches, any virus or diseased leaves, it's a good time to get those all out now because you don't want to work any of that into the soil. So, to prepare for the planting of your annuals, you want to get mulch. I have a bucket of mulch down there that I'll show you. And I'm not going to really work the mulch in here. I'm just going to put the mulch on the top because, again, the annuals are really shallow rooted. So I will, I will lay it out how I'm going to plant it, and then I will fertilize each one when I plant it. I fertilize with a slow organic fertilizer mix, and I only do it once over the season. It's a mix of rose and flower food, alfalfa, and chicken manure. It breaks down slow and it works over the season. Between that and the compost, it's all that they're going to need. But you do need to give them something because they flower a lot. And anything that flowers a lot does like fertilizer. So during the summer, you need to keep up on the weeding because there will be weeds coming in, especially when you water it or it gets water. You want to keep up on the deadheading the deadheading and the pruning because that is what is going to give you more bloom. You want to also check for insects. I'm not going to go into all of them because you may n never get any of them so you don't have to worry about it. But the ones that um, the insects that these get most commonly and in my garden home in Santa Barbara is aphids and I will just hose, hose them off. And because they're shallow rooted, because annuals are shallow rooted, and that's going to be mainly this bed, you want to also make sure that your bed has regular water. This, as you can see, or you will see, has a drip system. There's tubes running through it, but, but that'll all be all covered up by the plants and the mulch, so you won't even see that. And then in the fall, you just need to do a little cleanup after the summer. You might want to remove those annuals. We remove them anyway because the winter color comes in but your garden may be going to sleep in the winter and you just want to do a little cleanup then. So flower beds are some work but it's that color and that blooming that we love in the garden so I think it's well worth all the work and again I, I mulch every season keep up on the weeding and keep up on the deadheading. This is Nell Foster and I've just told you how to care for a flower bed.